So in this video, we're going to try and derive a formula that will find us the shortest distance from the point P with coordinates x1, y1, z1 to the plane pi uh, with equation ax plus by plus cz plus d equals zero. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a diagram so we can visualize what's going on. So here is going to be the point P. Here's the plane pi. So x1, y1, z1. And I'm going to draw a perpendicular down to the plane because that distance is what I want to find. I'm going to call this point M. Okay, so um, then I'm also going to find a point that's on the plane. So let's call that point R because that will be a right angle. And then I'm going to complete this with a right angle triangle here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to say that um, the vector um, R to P, so that vector there, is going to be P minus R. Okay, where lowercase p is the position vector of p and lowercase r is the position vector of r. And it's going to make this angle theta. And of course, this is in the direction of the normal vector n, which will be the vector a, b, c. Okay, so what we can say is that using Sokotoa, that uh, cosine of the angle will be the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse, right? So that means that the adjacent side, what I want to find, so PM, so that's the target, is equal to the length of RP, which I'll write as P minus R, times by cosine of the angle. OK, so this is what we're introducing. Right, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, OK, well, this won't change if I multiply it by 1. So I'm going to introduce here, multiplying by 1, multiplying by the unit normal vector times cosine of theta. So that won't change the magnitude of that right-hand side because I'm just multiplying by 1. n hat here is a unit vector in the direction of n, the, per the um, normal vector to the plane. Now what we need to spot here is that we've got mod a mod b cos theta, which is the scalar product. So that's the same as a dot b. So this is equal to p take away r dotted with the normal vector, uh, the unit normal vector here. Now, we do need to be a little bit careful uh, because we are looking at the uh, length of PM here, whereas this could, could give us a negative value. So, to avoid that, okay, we're going to have to pop modulus signs around it so that we can see how that's going to work, right? So, um, we need to keep that positive. Right, so the next thing is, we've got P, we've got the position vector for P, but we don't have a position vector for R. So, we're going to let R have some coordinates. So, we just need to choose some coordinates that are nice to work with that are on the plane. So, I can choose X and Y to be zero. And what that'll do is it'll mean that uh, Z must be minus D over C by rearranging that. So we now have R. So we can write down that P minus R is X1, Y1, Z1 take away 0, 0 minus D over C. So X1 take away 0 is X1. Y1 take away 0 is Y1. Z1 take away minus D over C. So Z1 plus D over C. So that's P minus R. Now, this uh, unit vector in the direction of the normal vector, the unit normal, 
um, is the same as, so let's uh, just write that as uh, P minus R again, just for the moment. This is dotted against the um, normal vector N, but that is divided by the square root of uh, a squared plus b squared plus c squared, its length. So this is over root n. Okay, so I can divide the whole thing by root n. So I've got p minus r, which is this, dotted with n. So I've got a times x1. I've got b times y1. And I've got C times Z1 and C times D over C, which is plus D. So we've got the length of that, or the magnitude of that, divided by the length of N, which is A squared plus B squared plus C squared square rooted. And so that is the formula for the shortest distance between a point and a plane.